you're watching the Entrepreneurial SME. And if you've just joined us, we are exploring local and global trends that SMEs should look out for with Strenimand Retailcom Business Head of Diversified Sales. Before the break, we looked at artificial intelligence and how it has prompted many entrepreneurs to find smarter ways of conducting business. We also looked at how and why organizations invest in developing soft skills. So Strini, from that, now we move to another one that fascinates me. You guys have got so many of these concepts and I'm trying to catch up, right? Look, I'm, I may not be small anymore, but I need to catch up with these things. Personalization at scale is another phrase that is used a lot. It's highlighted as a trend for 2024. What does this mean, personalization at scale? Look, for me, and you, we are consumers, right? Um, and I, I'm of the notion, and I'm always a firm believer that people buy from people, yeah. right? So, so why organizations are doing that is because um, we find that we will actually want to, um, you know, get co consumers to have that interaction with the company. We understand what their needs and their wants. We can, um, you know, create products and services that speaks to their needs and wants. So, so for me, that is. Let, let's critical. get it. Let's simplify it. I'm a. I'm a big wholesaler, and I've got bricklayers buying from me. Are we talking about a situation where I, I tend to know that this guy buys more nails and this type of nails from me, and therefore I should be on top of what they need? I should even be knowing that they should be out of stock by nine. I should be offering them stuff, look out for more opportunities. Are we talking about stuff like that? Yeah, so, 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 so that's data insights, right, on, 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 on your customer. So, so to give you an example, to what you say, you get an account manager in that specific uh, instance. Yeah. So that account manager will essentially manage these customer portfolios. Yes. With that, cust that account manager's job will essentially be to know exactly what his customer's buying patterns are, to understand the customer's business, um, you know, and to build that relationship ultimately with that customer. Mm. Essentially, when he builds that relationship and rapport with that customer, the customer on the other end feels special because he's given that personalized um, uh, you know, experience, he's yep. given that personalized care, and um, ultimately he knows that if I've got a problem, if I need additional nails, you know, if I need certain things, this is my guy to go to. Yep. So you're also creating that stickiness with the customer. So hence the reason why personalization, you know, when it comes to build, doing business now is, is, is actually growing at a, at, a, at a massive pace. But it is easy for the big guy, right? Huge guy who does this, got account managers, as you said, as a small business, how do I leverage this in spite of my size? How do I make sure that I can personalize systems and customer service? Again, again, Rams, you need to understand your customer base, all right, and the people that you're serving. Extremely important. Um, that's one aspect of it. You need to implement certain systems that will be able to give you data insights so that instead of you doing manual labor to get these insights, mm -hmm. you are able to automate certain things yes. and get that insights, right? When you leverage off that, you've got information on any one of your customers at any given time. Mm. So it gives you the ability to serve them much better. You know, so, so, so that's what you need to do as a small business. You need to try leveraging off these certain automation software and tools that will be, be able to propel you, you know, and uh, make you sharp and smart, you know, in serving and dealing with your customers and also uh, giving you the ability to grow. Now, I must tell you, of all the, the big phrases I've asked you about, one that I actually encountered for the first time myself just recently, something called data economy. Like, what is that? How do you see companies evolving uh, in their approach to, to data going forward? Well, look, um, data is actually the new fuel, right? Uh, um, data and big data actually is uh, easier. Um, essentially, what we need to do and how we use that data is quite important. Uh, data actually gives us quite a number of insights into markets, into customer spend, into customer behavior. So it has its whole host of, 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 of benefits, you know, and uh, as we start utilizing technology more, you know, um, we are obviously putting out our data, right, um, and uh, of how we spend, you know, of, um, of how we utilize certain uh, tools. Companies are actually utilizing that data and personalizing marketing content to send through to you. So big business or business 
in general are capitalizing on the data and it's actually a monetizable business as well right so so yeah I think at, at, uh, at which point though does it become intrusive you know sometimes I feel like I'm sitting on my laptop and everything comes at me including stuff that I know I have no relationship to yeah I think I think I think um, look um, data can be given to bring it right down to a form of uh, you know, an individual perspective or a larger scale, you know, of, 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 of consumers, right? Um, I, I think it's just the, the, the companies that are utilizing the data or the businesses that are utilizing the data, they just need to take it to a bit more further and personalize it to the individuals, you know, uh, that they want to, um, you know, they want to speak to. I have 30 seconds left. Cybercrime has always been a problem. <sighs> How can I better myself as an, as an SME or an entrepreneur to make sure that I overcome this? Quickly, in 30 seconds. Cybercrime is a problem, right? 2021-2022 uh, statistics within South Africa, we grew by 8%. We're the fifth country that's impacted by uh, cybercrime in the world. Uh, so it's a challenge. One of the challenges as well is our SMEs are not educated. Um, and they don't see that as actually really important, which is a problem, mm -hmm. right? Um, at Telcom Business, what we've done um, is because of those insights that we gather from our customers and the personalization that you spoke to, we started developing uh, products and services that actually speak, um, you know, and protects the end user, especially, you know, end user device management, software as a security. So we started investing in that because what we realized is that a small SME does not have the capabilities in-house to actually procure these things or develop these things. So I would say that from an SME perspective or a business perspective, partner with the right technology partner that will give you access to these um, capabilities and advise you as well, um, you know, in these tough times when it comes to cybersecurity. There is absolutely no such thing as the last question for a salesman. Thank you very much for watching the Entrepreneurial SME. From me, Rems Mavote, good night and God bless. Telcom Business, behind South African businesses' drive to thrive.